ego will beat you down. That's what you were talking about, those ups and downs. When you're on that journey and you're trying to, like you said earlier, do what you want to do. Do what, it doesn't matter what anybody else is trying to make you. Whether it's a job that you don't like or, you know, doing what you feel is is your path. Yeah. Like your journey that you were on. And your ego will just beat you down. And it'll give you, it, you so many excuses to get off that path and to not do it. And that's where you get in those ups and downs in the journey yeah. is just purely your ego just trying to take back control of the wheel as it's it's losing control and you're reaching these higher and higher levels yeah. and leveling up and you know I don't know I we think all I'm fight pretty that. good at being detached from an ego anymore cuz I just never really liked anybody with an ego when I was younger yeah I just didn't like people that thought they were better just for no yeah. reason I was like everybody's cool I don't I don't get it like why you think you're better but I've never never really had that perspective, so I've always kind of had that. I, I think I beat it down more than anything as far as yeah. having one. Don't get me wrong; there's been times that yeah, I've definitely. We all need one to. Well, yeah, like, you need that muse, you need that it, fire, yeah. you need that inspiration, but keeping it balanced and in check, right? right? And, and working grounded. with it rather than letting it dominate. Yeah, you. exactly. That's the key. Um, well said, Bob. Uh, yeah. You know, ego is not a bad thing. No. Uh, it's perceived as bad, right? right? It's I would call ego is the result of survival. So sure. if you don't have an ego, you don't survive. You know, animals or any any living thing that does not have ego is going to die at that moment because it's directly related with your survival instinct. Yeah. Ego is a word that is being misunderstood a lot. Yep. You know, in psychology, they say id ego and super ego. Right, right. That's what Sigmund right. Freud coins there. Right. So when it's ego, it's, you know, the result of uh, whatever you do is based on your ego. But, you know, if you're able to direct your actions and if you put your ego at in your control and you when you are not directed by your ego, that's right. when the game starts. That 100 percent. That's exactly right. When And that's what I was saying, kind of working with it your rather than self being, being directed by it. When you almost right. tune in with it. Yep. And, and you're like, you're using it for a benefit, for a positive. Yeah, you might have an ego, but again, it, it's for the, I don't want to say, you're trying to lift everybody up. You're trying to tune into that and you feel that frequency. So you're like, I want to spread this. It's not just yep. for me. That's that's the whole game is, can I make this infectious? Can I distribute this amongst everyone? 